guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready for a rock show. I just got home from a trip. I'm not feeling my entire best self, but Jack and I, me and Jack, have a gig tonight. We are going to see a rock band. We're going to see a, like a pop punk rock band. And I thought that I would just, you know, live up to the occasion and become my best rock glam self. I am super pleased with the way that this look turned out. There's a few things in here that I've not showed you guys yet. So I, yeah, I really, really hope you love it. And without further ado, if you'd like to see how I created this entire look, then please stay tuned. Our brother sounded like something from the Hunger Games there. May the odds be ever in your favour. Hello. Do you like my hair? Did it myself. No, I did not. Charlotte did it for me. She came up to the house to do it for me. Uh, gonna get out of the way right now. I've lost a nail. So just ignore this finger, please. And also ignore my spots. I have been on 10 flights in two weeks. Such a great time, but I'm gonna call this spot British Airways, this spot Thin Air, and um, this little guy, I'm just gonna call him Dehydration. I am going out tonight. Me and Jack, Jack and I, are going to see Bring Me The Horizon. If you're not familiar with Bring Me The Horizon, it sounds a little bit like this. So we're going to a rock concert, it's like pop punk rock type thing. Jack bought tickets a little while ago. We both really like the, yeah anyway. I would, I would I'm just gonna put it out there, this is Jack's choice of an evening. But I love him and I will do what he wants. I don't sound great, I have a wee bit of a cold, wee bit run down. So I need to make myself look much better instantly, okay? So we're gonna do our makeup quickly. I've got a wee while to get ready, but this is how quickly I would get ready for a night out. So I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas first to prime my face. You'll need a little bit of this, by the way. I just recently found it again and I forgot that when I first tried it, I really liked it. I've done my skincare already, so I'm just going to rub that in. I cannot wait to get makeup on. I'm having one of those days where I woke up and I was like, why do I look so bad today? And Charlotte came up and did my hair for me because I've not washed it. Um, and I don't want to wash it. And I actually put eyeshadow in my hairline to make my hairline look a little bit stronger. It actually looks really warm on camera, but it looks fine in real life, I promise. Once we've rubbed that in, obviously we're going to a concert, so I want my makeup to last ages. So we're gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. One pump of that on the back of my hand. This is a tiny touch too dark for me just now, so I've got lighter concealer to brighten it back up. I'm just gonna apply that straight on. One pump is plenty. I saw a couple of you guys comment in previous videos where I've started using this foundation again that you were the same as me. I started using this foundation, but I used, used to use far too much of it and it just didn't look great. And the key is to not use as much. One pump is more than enough for your full face. The colour's actually not bad. So you can hear my voice is a little bit husky because, yeah, I've just been so busy. But that is Jack and I's, me and Jack's, last travels of the year. But yeah, Charlotte did such a good job in my hair. Got these braids the whole way down and they've got cute little gold loops in them. I will never be able to do that myself because I'm so clumsy and it's too, like, footery for me. Mm. My foundation's actually not a bad colour. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger for my under eyes and I'm also going to go over my wee spots with this as well because this is more hydrating than the foundation so it'll stop my spots looking any kind of dry. But I just, I've been really liking this concealer again. And I'm going to do my whole face first, my whole like face foundation and all that and then we'll do our eyes. Oh, dark circles, be gone. Oh, I feel so much better already. Oh, I love makeup. I'm going to leave my lids just now because I'm going to use concealer as a primer. But we're going to finish our face first. For powder, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury look. Hmm, we've had pan. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm just going to put that on my whole under eye. And then down towards the chubby bits of my cheeks. And we're going to go for a classic rock chick. I hate that term. We're gonna go for a classic rock chick smoky eye. But that's exactly what we're gonna do. I want to do my full smoke. I did it on Instagram a little while ago and loads of you guys were asking for a tutorial. And the palette I used is very inexpensive. Very inexpensive, so I'm excited to show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Bondi Bay. I got a new one. I'd ran out, but I've got a new one. This is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Contour Stick. I'm just gonna put a little touch on to start Warming up those areas of my face. 
But yeah, you might have seen on Instagram um, recently, we were away with Too Faced in New York and we had such a fun time and we were hanging out with Karen. I love Sarayi and her boyfriend, Sebastian. You might have seen on Instagram stories that we were all listening to old pop punk and I actually used to really love it as well. I still do for, you know, for reminiscing. But I was so surprised by the amount of you guys that were messaging saying that you were totally living for it. Loads of you guys seem to like really have loved that kind of pop punk era as well. So I'm very interested to know down below if it is some like music that you guys listen to. I have a very eclectic music taste. I listen to everything. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun night though, I'm excited. So this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer with Hip Pan on this as well, using loads of favourites today. And I'm just gonna lightly sweep over. And then I'm gonna use a slightly more dense brush just to build it up in my contour. And then I'm going to use my favourite little NARS Ita brush just to do a little contour on my nose. I don't know what I did without this brush, you guys. I've been using it every single day since my first video I used it. And then if you go too ham with it, which I always do, I just pat my foundation brush over it just to blend it in a little bit. For highlighter, I want it to be blinding, as always. I'm going to use the new Artist Couture Diamond Luxe Luminizer in Hot damn, hot spelt like hot couture, like fashion. This is amazing, look at that. The packaging's gorgeous as well. It's a really nice component and the actual product is pressed in such a gorgeous way. I'm gonna use this and look, oh. It's quite a glittery highlighter. So if you don't like glitter, then you won't like it, but I absolutely love it. And it almost makes your skin look wet once it's on. Keep as well. Oh, that looks so good. And then I need to do my little nose. I'm just going to use an eyeshadow brush. Oh, so good. And then a little line. Oh, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. I feel better already, you guys. We're just in a light bronze just now. Well, you never know what the future holds. <laughs> so now I'm going to prime my eyes and do my brows. But first I'm going to just pop my concealer on all over my lid. Just using the NARS Creamy Concealer again. Because this is what I used to prime my eyes the last time I did this look. And I thought it looked really good. I'm just buffing that in with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to set that with just a little dusting of my Charlotte Tilbury powder again, just so it doesn't crease. I'm going to zoom you in to do your eyes. Okay, so the palette we're going to use is the Lottie London collaboration with Twee, Twee Lee. Oh my goodness, it's great and I couldn't believe it. I went to look up how much it was to buy because my friend Cara loved my eyes yesterday and I wore it yesterday as well. And it is down to £6.50 on sale. £6.50 for all of this. And it's stunning. So I don't know how soon it's gonna sell out, but you guys definitely should pick it up. And I'm gonna do a smoky, smoky eye. So, <laughs> the colors are funny. The first color I'm gonna use is Chiquitarian. I actually do know that Twee loves chicken, so there you go. I'm gonna use this in the crease. And I'm just going to start wiggling my brush backwards and forward. We're doing a huge, big, blended, smoky eye today, so I'm going to go ham. But the pigment of these shadows and how easily they blend, honestly, I do not know how it's that inexpensive. I'm just using my Smith 232 brush. I'm pretty sure that us guys in the UK can actually get Smith brushes from a UK retailer now. Let me double check, but I'll link them down below anyway because these brushes, I've had these for so long and I actually do panic a little bit when I'm doing my makeup and I don't have them because they are just the easiest, most softest brushes to use. But there we go, that's Chiquitarian on the lids. Looking great, one color. And it's the most gorgeous warm brown shade. So, so pretty. I'm actually gonna go in with Porky, which is just here, just next to Chiquitarian. These shades are so funny. Beige, YOLO, I like YOLO. No tea, no shade, good. There's one shade called Gemini, which I actually used yesterday and it was stunning. <laughs> oh, one M, cause Twee hurt a million. Aw, oh, how sweet. So I'm just gonna use Porky and mix it in with Chiquitarian and I'm gonna really start blending that out because I don't like my smoky eyes to be too rounded because it just makes my eyes look like wee piggy eyes. So I like to make sure that we're blowing that out in the outer crease. So you can see when you start to drag your eyeshadow up and out like that, it changes the shape of your eye to more of an almond shaped eye. Feels like it's been ages since I sat down to film you guys. I've missed you. Okay, these shadows are just so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna just do the top just now, the top of my eyes. 
Next is No Tea No Shade, which is the black in the palette. Doesn't, honestly, it doesn't look like much in the pan, but when I used it, I was shook. I'm gonna use the Kaylee by Sosu brush. These brushes are amazing, by the way. I've been using these to death as well. I'll link them as well. But we Kaylee and Mui, mm, we baby. And I'm just gonna start placing the black on all over the lid. And I'm just putting it all over the lid just now and then over the crease because you never want your black eyeshadow just on the lid when you're doing this smoky eye because it makes your eyes look much smaller. And then right into the inner corner. We're getting a little tiny bit of fallout but that's fine. I've powdered my under eyes, I can just sweep it away. And then I'm going to use a fluffy brush in the black and make sure you're going in with your big brush with the original colours on it just to smoke that in. I'm going to go in with Hey Guys, which is just next to the black, to start blending the black out a little bit more. It's got a little bit more depth and warmth to it, so it'll help get that black nice and smooth. I'm not finished with that blend, but I'm going to start packing on the black to the other eye. And then we're just going to take a little bit of time working on the eyes and making sure that we can get that blend nice and smooth. I'm going to get a clean MAC 224 and a little bit of Chikatarian, which is the first warm shade, and I'm just going to start really buffing that into the edges. And I'm just taking my time going back into kind of each shade and building the crease up. I just forgot to press record. All I've done is used Black 77 Gel Liner by Inglot. It is 77, yes. And I put it in my waterline and wiggled it between my lashes. And before it dries, I'm going to go in with Hey Guys, which is just this one right here. And we're going to smoke that out. I'll show you exactly how I did the first part on the other eye because I missed it. I'm going to go in with the black gel liner and I'm going to paint my entire waterline. And then I'm going to get a little bit more gel liner and I'm going to wiggle that between my lashes so there's no skin poking through. Like so. This is a nightmare to get off, but it does add such an intensity to the eye look. And then I'm just going to blend that out again when the gel liner is still a little bit tacky. And then if you want, you can go in with a bigger brush and the lightest transition colour and just kind of smooth all that out. I love it. For mascara and lashes, I want to do big lashes. Because you're wearing such an intense smoky eye, you can get away with wearing a huge lash. So I'm going to use... Oh my god, I am collab daft today. I'm going to use Tati Lashes and Mitchell, M -m 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 Mitchell's collaboration. I'm going to cut these to size and then glue them up. And the glue I'm using is my favourite glue ever. This is the dual glue with the green writing and it's the brush on latex free glue. Honestly, I swear by it. I use it every single time I wear lashes and I'll like be using it on my wedding day for sure. I just think it's the best. For mascara, I'm just going to use my NARS Climax mascara to get my top lashes nice and black and my bottom lashes super chunky to go with the look. Do you know what's weird? See with this look, you don't actually need lashes if you don't want. I think it's such an intense look and it actually looks really nice without lashes, but I'm going to wear lashes, obviously. While we're waiting for our lashes to dry, I'm going to pop on a little bit of the Artist Couture Highlighter on my brow bone. Just right at the top here. And that just ties it in nicely to the cheeks. I'm going to use a tiny wee brush and just apply this right to my inner corner. I don't want anything too mental in my inner corner. Oh, I quite love that. Maybe I'll add more. Just going to do my little freckle. These lashes are so nice with this eye makeup. Mm, drama. For my brows, I don't want anything too heavy because the whole looks quite heavy. So the first thing I'm going to do is comb through with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter gel. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to do them. I can't not. This is a full glam look, okay? So I'm just going to go in with the Cabrow in shade number four. And we're just going to do a light sculpting of the brow. Brows are done. I'm going to zoom you out and we'll do our lips. Oh, she glamorous.
Mm -hmm. So for lips, this is probably going to be the last time I'll be able to use this because you guys are, I think it's, I don't really know what's going on, but I think it's sold out. Uh, I'm going to use my MAC lipstick for the last time on my channel, but I can guarantee you that I will be using this lipstick for a long time. I flipping love it. Obviously I love it and I'm so, so glad that you guys loved it so much as well. We're going to use MAC Jamie Genevieve and my lip liner. I'm gonna use is MAC Strip Down. So this is a really nice color for with my lipstick. Oh guys, it's like bittersweet, you know? It was the best, the best of times, the worst of times because now it's gone. I'm gonna line my lips with Strip Down first. Where's my lipstick? Oh, wee baby. And then we're gonna use MAC Me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my lip liner to blend that in. I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of my NARS concealer on a little concealer brush and I'm just gonna tidy up my lip line. Now I'm gonna go in with my little contour palette, contour highlight palette by MAC. 35 quid this is. If I was still a makeup artist, I would be all over this stuff. Shade Stir and this middle one here, just to add a little bit more contour. Make sure there's no fallout or anything on my face that shouldn't be there. Like a drug by hair. And then I'm just gonna set my makeup with the YSL Top Secrets Makeup Setting Spray. And then I need to put my hoops in. And then the very last thing I promise that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder on a really big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pounce that all over my skin after the setting spray. Cause we're going out, out. I need my makeup to last. And that, you guys, is the finished look. I am really obsessed. I think this looks bloody great. I could honestly wear my makeup like this every day. I think it's so glam. I love a full smoky eye. I hardly ever do it because I do think it might just take a little bit more effort than my usual smoky eye, but I think that this is so nice. Obviously, this palette, I really hope it's not sold out by the time that I've put this video live because £6.50 is ridiculous for this palette. I think it looks so good. But if you can't get this, then I actually think that the Morphe James Charles palette would be able to do this look absolutely no problem. There's probably loads of palettes that you could do this look with, but I do think that this palette performed super, super well to get this look. Other than that, wish me luck. Hopefully, I don't get crushed in a mosh pit. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Cannot look at this guy. Bye. Bye. I am pretty sure that we can. I'm pretty sure that. The, I'm going to get a clean Mac Mac. I'm going to use Tatty Latches. Latches? Oh, that's good. That is bloody great. Okay, so I'm going to let this. Oh, God, that's really wet my head. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready. Drama!